this sideways consolidation is quite important for Bitcoin because at the moment, you know, we look like we've had a wave one, two, three, and this could be a wave four. You know, very often in a wave four, markets go sideways, make a triangle pattern or a wedge consolidation or a flag. And so from here, you know, if we rally and we do one more wave fire and five waves, that potentially is quite a bullish signal for us. If we don't, and this is a big A, then we're going to do a 50% back and another leg high. If we did that here and we rallied like this and we did 50% back, that would still keep us in a corrective pattern. That would be important because that would tell us we still have one more swing lower to come before we can start, you know, or at least one more swing lower before it They would say that this is not yet the final bottom in Bitcoin and, and we have more to come. So uh, what happens from this little consolidation will be quite interesting. If we break to the upside, we've still got that resistance and target at 11,477. I think if we pull back, we should expect a 50% pullback and a look for 10,000 and the hourly 200 to catch us. So that's exactly what we're waiting for in Bitcoin. And we've been sideways now for, you know, uh, 24 hours. So we should hopefully see a resolution today, but it might be later today. Now, there's a few interesting stuff that we've been waiting for happening out here. Here's Matic. We had this sideways range. We're breaking out very high nicely from this one on the hourly. You can look to buy a five or 15 minute pullback and uh, our target in Matic. We'll go back to the daily. Our target is all the way up here at this big 236 Fib level. Uh, well, initially, it's going to be the top of this triangle, isn't it? Um, which is going to put us up here around 166 and then 196 uh, is what I'm looking for uh, after this. So we've had a rally, A, B, C, and then we're looking for the next leg up in Matic. So sideways, this is what we hope to see from Bitcoin and the sideways consolidation, you know, uh, break out and carry on higher. Okay, um, Steam. So... I always pay attention to double bottoms and double tops. So let's talk about steam because here we are down here in the weeds. It's had a very long drop and we've holding the previous lows. We're bouncing from the previous lows. We've had a little swing failure pattern here. By this, I mean the early August lows. If I put regular candles on, you can see that this is a hugely bullish candle. Um, a lot of interest on a retest of this lows and has carried us really high. Well, so now we've got our sideways range, here's the lows. This high here is our, going to be our target and that's the confirmation level for, that's the confirmation level for our double top, isn't it? And that's at 2,090. So what's going to confirm we're going from here up there, going beyond the 236 fib, which we've just done. So here on the hourly, like this. We are just pushing above this 236 fib and this hourly 200. If we can sustain it, sorry, my computer's on a go slow. Here we go. Uh, a pullback like that and carry on higher in steam. So remember, it's still a sideways range and our target initially, we're going to keep it really modest, will be the top of the range at 2019. Um, Ethereum Classic has a really good look. Here is our daily chart of Ethereum Classic. We're looking at the last swing lower. <clears throat> We've got a bullish cross of our daily moving averages. We've pulled back to this 236 Fib level support, which was previously support here at 647. And it looks like we're turning higher from it. So a breakout from this wedge would be a very nice long entry buy signal, wouldn't it? And because we're always aware of sideways ranges, our trouble area, our first uh, where we're going to watch to make sure we go beyond is the previous highs at 746. So that is our uh, Ethereum Classic. We're looking for a long entry and a breakout here. I've even got an alarm on it. Sorry for the noise. Okay, that's the setup in Ethereum Classic. Pretty good look. 